Pete and Sam here for Pete and Sam's Reality News, Season 2. Who the fuck are Pete and Sam? What? Did you book the studio? I didn't think you had to, I just thought we all had it. Oh. Well, let's see if this works. We're back, baby! Bigger and better than ever before. Uh, what the fuck's this? Well, isn't it mahogany? It, I mean, it doesn't really go, does it? Smell it. Why have we got candelabras that aren't even lit? Yeah, and a plant. Why have we got a plant? I'll tell you why, because Padre Thompson, he's so proud of us, by the way, getting a second series, he's released some of the trust fund! We have more moolah, dosh, cheddar, cheese. Okay, if we have more money, then why have you spent it on this shit? Giving ourselves a little makeover. You know I've wanted to say this for a very long time. Here we go. Cue titles. Hello and welcome to Pete and Sam's Reality News with me, Sam! And me, Pete. Hello and welcome to Pete and Sam's Reality News. This is the very place for the latest in the world of entertainment and celebrity. This week, we're going to be getting the inside scoop on Lockie and Megan's blossoming romance. Hey, he's your mate. Discussing why the hell Khloe Kardashian seems to be taking Tristan Thompson back again. Hey, it's like Groundhog Day, that one. It really is. Uh, revealing Reality News' biggest ever sponsor, it's been coming for a long time. Oh, that was so rubbish. Yeah. Of course, I will also be bringing you Prick of the week. The only important, credible part of the show is obviously back. And to be honest with you, the only reason we've probably got a second series. If you are wondering what Sam's doing, no, his head isn't falling off his shoulders. We've actually got also Q. It's, it's something that he spent the money on and struggles to read. It's just, it's so be... you may see a lot of this. Yeah. What are you struggling with? It's right there. Yeah, I know, but it's the eye. I mean, how can this show get shitter with an auto cue? Oh. I don't understand. And this week, it's a tough one. There's something very important. To no, me. that's me. That's my bit. So why are you reading it? This week, Prick of the Week, is going to be a tough one because it's something very important to me. But first, it's time for the latest reality news headlines. Come on, we're back, baby! James Locke and Megan Barton Hansen are dating. The pair were seen holding hands walking down the street. Towie's James Locke has seemingly confirmed their romance online. Uh, has he? Well, yeah, he put YouTube all over his stories. Well, that's not confirming a romance. That Listen, means that they're spending some time together. I obviously live with Lockie. He's my best friend. I'm very happy for both of them because it means he's out of my fucking house. But they were snuggled up together in a bar in Essex, cocktails in hand. She had a cocktail in her hand, not his cock. So that doesn't necessarily mean that they're dating. Is it going to last? I hope it does. No, you don't. I, do you know what? I genuinely no, do. I'll tell you, you why. I will tell you why. It's nice to see your friends happy and not in, you know, relationships that don't always work out. Can we confirm another Towie couple rekindling some romance? You and Chloe Sims. Oh. You were seen, I believe, out on a bike ride, was I, with weren't you? Uh, no, we were in an arcade. What are you doing hanging around arcades at your ripe old age of 45? I'm not 45, Sam. You combined yours and Chloe's ages, you'd be 80. Well, you've heard it here first. We have confirmed that both romances We've are confirmed on the neither. Cards. Neither romance has been confirmed, not one of them. Chloe Kardashian flaunts diamond ring amid Tristan Thompson romance through How? How? That's exactly what a Kardashian needs is another diamond ring, isn't it? Chloe Kardashian sparked rumours she's back with ex-boyfriend Tristan Thompson after wearing a diamond ring, which is huge. The more times you cheat, the bigger the ring. That's what they say. The pair broke up in 2019 after it was revealed that Tristan had kissed Jordan Woods. I just don't understand how you can take someone back that's cheated on you. No, I can get it. Like, obviously, after, like, once, right? Like, because, you know, everyone makes a mistake. I get that. Chloe and Tristan have a two-year-old daughter together called True. What I think they should do, if they have another kid when they get back together, they should call the other one uh, False. Yep. When Chloe is unsure where Tristan's been all night, she can go, right, kids, 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 did Daddy cheat on me? True jumps up and down. Every time. Every time. <laughs> Daddy's a big fucking cheat. Get rid of him! Cancelled YouTuber Shane Dawson is actually back in the news. As you can imagine, normally I wouldn't know who the fuck that is, but I have done some research this series. Five seconds of his show I watched and um, uh, effectively come up with the conclusion that he's a complete and utter helmet. You're not completely wrong there. Uh, his Spotify's reportedly been hacked after releasing a I Fucked My Cat song. Sorry, what? Uh, in 2015, he did a podcast, Shane and Friends, where he said his first sex experience he'd ever had was with his pet cat. The clip recirculated around the internet in 2019, where it was widely criticised. Uh, you since, reckon? Well, I, I don't know. Like, what? It depends what it was. No, no, it doesn't depend. Why are you justifying someone having a, a, a sexual experience with the 
I'm not, pick. but we've got to play devil's avocado here, right? The point I'm making is he might not have fucked it. Could have given him a hair job. A poor job. Could have given him a poor job. Now, before we move on, we have to talk about something pretty special that happened recently. <clears throat> Peter Sands Reality News was nominated for a Broadcast Digital Award, baby! How the fuck we got a second series, I won't know. How the fuck we got nominated for an award, I won't know. It's utterly mental. We, we didn't win. No, no, not even close. So we were actually up for best short form format, but lost out to Lad Bible's Minutes With. Uh, the judges thought the person sitting on a small wooden chair in an empty room chatting to a camera was better than the format that we have, which, uh, to be honest with you, I completely and utterly agree with. Well, I don't, Pete. I think it's a crock of shit, to be honest. Um, yeah, I mean, it was it was a really good night. I got really, really drunk um, at the awards. Did you have fun? Well, I actually couldn't, Pete, because I was isolating. But the best thing happened, and this, honestly, it's just... Tell them what you did. I was made to carry a cardboard cutout of Sam around London. People looked at me like I had serious problems. Obviously, we didn't win. Um, I, I, I think I took it quite well. Right, moving on, I've got some very interesting news. This show, and potentially the entire series, we are going to be sponsored by the XL Bing Company, where we excel in your waste. Run the tape, Geoffrey. <laughs> it's not real. What do you mean it's not real? There's no, there's no company called the XL Bing Company. Well, that was a joke. <laughs> I got you so good. Watch the video. So I've managed to convince Pete that we've got a sponsorship for the show. It's called the XL Bin Company. <laughs> it doesn't exist. And I've told him that we're getting paid 25 grand each. <laughs> it's coming out. I can't believe we're actually doing this for a fucking bin company. What is, it, what is going on in Think life? Think about the 25 grand. We're here to promote XL Bins. No, the XL Bin Company. The XL Bin Company. And it's not bins that we're promoting, it's the sacks. We're here for the bin sacks. We're here to promote the XL Bin Liners. Sturdy as a rock. You can really get some purchase on that. So let's just do a fucking dance. Let's do like the ho- I'm not doing a dance. Let's do the ho- I'm dance. not doing a fucking dance for a bin bag company. The XL Bin Company excel in getting rid of your rubbish. We at the XO- XL. <laughs> We at the XL Bin... It's two letters. XL Bin Company. Okay, I'm sorry. Ready? Say it for me now. Bin Company. No, XL Bin Company. <laughs> XL Bin Company. Do what you just did, mm -hmm. then, right, what are the other fun things we can do with yeah, bags? got it. Yeah? Okay, cool. If you want a little sack, you should have mine. That sort of thing. Fuck me. This is the XO Bin Company. This, we no, 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 it's the XL Bin Company. This is the XL Bin Company and we excel at your waste. Okay, the really, XL it's, Bin it's one Company. Tag, like, there was one thing you had to say. <laughs> we have the best sex in the world. You come up with some alternative slogans. Why don't you say some of them? Why don't you just do a real of? Okay. Look, double bag. This is how strong they are, look. Look how strong they are. This is shit. Help me up. This is utter shit. Help me up. I'm you sure button. when they said, can you two do an advert, this is not what they had in mind. I think I'm it was. I'm almost I... certain that when the people in the PR team of the XL Bing Company thought, I'll tell you what, we'll get these two cracks to do an advert. I will punch you. We like bin bags and we cannot lie. We like bin bags and we cannot lie. So, I think we do that walk to the camera. Sam, listen to yeah. me, listen to me now, yeah. in all okay. seriousness. Yeah. Doing a fucking walk yeah. doesn't make any difference, right? If it's an advert, tell them about the fucking bags. Pete, what's your idea then? I have no idea, it's a bin bag company. Sam. Fucking buy the bags, they're strong, you put your shit in them and you take the rubbish out. Great. But we've got a jingle if you want. We've... So why are you making me fucking sit there and go, oh yeah, then use my sack and no, make a should. fucking song no, when you've got a jingle? One, two, one, two. Wait, this right. is the fucking You're a one. fucking child. This is the one. Right, I'll cue music, I'll cue the fucking thing. <laughs> I am trying to fucking do this. I know you are. But why? What, I can't work with him. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. You, right, what are you I saying? Got you. Because I'm not doing this again. We at the XL Bin Company excel in your waste. Great. 
and then give me my line again. We are regulated by the Transatlantic Waste Administration Territory. Got it. We at the XL Bin Company excel in your waste. All other competitors are rubbish and we are regulated by the Transatlantic Waste Administration Territory. That's a fucking liberty. I know! <laughs> so I'm not getting 25 grand? No! <laughs> I spoke to my manager this morning. I know! You winding me up? My favourite bit is when I called you in the car. You were like, right, if we're going to do this, we've got to do it right. <laughs> are you excited yeah. though? I'm quite excited that we can do a bin liner advert, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's quite funny that, that we're getting these things. But obviously, if you think about it like this, if they're doing 25 grand for that day, if they're thinking of doing the series, this is where we make a bit of money. The production company, the channel, the agents, everybody was in on it. You silly little prick. You're a fucking joke, mate. No, fucking, don't go. No, fuck you, fucking pathetic. Don't go, don't oh, go. We're don't go. <laughs> All right, let's get this shower shit done. Straight to prick of the week. And the nominations are the Broadcast Digital Awards. Yes, the organisers of the Broadcast Digital Awards are nominated for not giving us an award, even though we didn't really deserve one. They might not give us an award, but they get one for not giving us an award. Well, they've got a nomination. Let's see if they win. The next nominee is Bacardi for discontinuing Cafe Patrol. I think we should get some in. I mean, I mean really? Yeah, I think we should get someone. I think we need to. We need to toast the death. Oh, don't let you... Look. I just, it's just, to me, that just looks like poison. To me, that looks like love. You know, most people like stockpiling like toilet roll, that sort of stuff. I'm stockpiling discontinued liquor. I don't want one. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> I'm so excited by this. Grab a glass. Why are they in them glasses as well? Crystal martini glasses. Yeah, trust one, baby. Life won't be the same without you. Here's the Cafe Patrol. Get it, Daniel. Oh, God, you did that so easily. <laughs> there were only going to be two nominees this week for Brick of the Week, but I am adding a third one as a late call up. It's you, because you owe me 25 fucking thousand pounds. Right, because you made me do a stupid advert and made me point up to being a twat. And also, because I got a message from your girlfriend this morning. Zara messaged me to say, yo, if you want to wind Sam up, he cried this morning because he couldn't find his favourite trousers. Oh, Pure off. tears. It was the most pathetic thing I've ever seen in my life. But I thought you'd enjoy that information. I actually genuinely did cry this morning. Yeah, no, she told us. So I you are actually nominated this week for being a 30-year-old crybaby. 29. Who can't find his own trousers. Uh, for stitching me up and just generally for being a complete prick. So, arms. the three nominees this week, there you have it. The Broadcast Digital Awards, Bacardi and Sam. Come on! Can... I'm battered. Vote now on the PS Reality News Instagram straight after this show and we'll be announcing the first prick of the week of Series 2 next week. That's sadly all we've got time for this week on Pete and Sam's Reality News. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Sam Thompson. I'm Pete. Take care of yourselves. Don't stay too far away from each other. But, I mean, COVID's still a thing. So, like, be aware of those... Of, like, it's not quite as catchy, that, that one, is it? Parameters. Not, not, not snappy. Well, guys, you at home watching, let us know if you think I should have a new catchphrase and what it should be. Because it could be, take care of yourselves, embrace. Ta-da.